welcome to Daily Bible Benefits. Today is Wednesday, August 2nd. On this day in 1990, at about 2 a.m. local time, Iraq forces invade Kuwait, Iraq's tiny old rich neighbor. Today on the broadcast, I'll be talking about the earthly holy place, Hebrews chapter 9, verses 1 through 10. Then verily the first covenant had also ordinances of divine service in a worldly sanctuary, for there was a tabernacle made, the first wherein was the candlestick, and the table, and the showbread, which is called the sanctuary. And after the second veil, the tabernacle, which is called the holiest of all, which had the golden censer, and the ark of the covenant overlaid round about with gold, wherein was the golden pot, that had manner, and Aaron's rod that budded, and the tables of the covenant, and over it the cherubims of glory shadowing the mercy seat, of which we cannot now speak particularly. Now when these things were thus ordained, the priests went always into the first tabernacle, accomplished in the service of God. But into the second went the high priest alone once every year, not without blood, which he offered for himself, and for the errors of the people, the Holy Ghost thus signifying the way into the holiest of all was not yet made manifest, while as at the first tabernacle was yet standing, which was a figure for the time then present, and which were offered both gifts and sacrifices that could not make him that did the service perfect, as pertaining to the conscience, which stood only in meats and drinks, and diverse washings and carnal ordinances imposed on them until the time of reformation, the only victor. A general may defeat all his enemies on the battlefield, yet be unable to defeat his critics at home. He may be able to control the men under him, and yet be unable to control himself. He may be victor in the eyes of men, yet defeated in the estimation of God and he may congratulate himself that no one has been able to stand up against him, yet he will go down at last before men's final enemy, death. Thus all men's victories are partial in this life, even the victory over sin and evil that the regenerated believer has in Christ is at best incomplete. Only one man has ever conquered sin and death, completely and defeated all his enemies as Jesus Christ. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Bible Benefits. Have a good and godly day.